Okay, guys. So, since my last video about the Blue Stacks, I think it was Blue Stacks 4, kind of blew up a bit on my channel. Um, I'm making another one for Blue Stacks 5 because I had a few comments saying that I should make updated one about Blue Stacks 5 because I'm pretty sure it was about Blue Stacks 4. So, I'm just going to show you guys how to correct everything. If I don't have the graphics glitch or anything like that, I will still show you how to go around it and what settings you need to turn on that might help you so but at first i'm going to test it to see if i have a graphics glitch glitch on anything so i'll go through that with you guys okay so as you uh as you guys can see like i'm downloading everything here so yeah, as I said, you have this here, right? But the thing is, it's not the game that's the issue. It is the game, but it's technically not the game, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll uh, show you guys. What so right now I'm downloading it, but it's actually not the game technically, so what you want to go is go to your settings so one cpu you you just you want to use like all your cores right i'm not gonna do it right now because i'm recording my gameplay uh memory allocation you want to put a lot so you want to do high or something uh high performance you always want to do balanced if you have a low-end computer uh, you can turn on, like, enable high frame rate if you have a better computer. V-Sync you should always have turned off because you don't need that, right? So, yeah. And then you want to go to graphics. Um, it should be this one, I'm pretty sure. No, it should be DirectX, sorry. Anyway, it should be DirectX because OpenGL is just, like, the apps, uh, graphic stuff. DirectX is what's installed on your computer. So if you don't have DirectX installed, it'll just automatically go to that one. So, but if you have DirectX, that's why when you play any other games, that it always asks you to install DirectX because it's better. And, um, uh, let's see. Interface render. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Okay. Anyway, so you want to have... I think it's performance mode. It says legacy mode, but uh, let's just just keep on DirectX. And then you want to do... Um, do whatever this is, pixel density. This is like high resolution, low resolution, right? DPI, and then you can choose your mouse cursor and everything. But uh, the important ones you want to do is use all your, the highest CPU allocation you can do. Um, another thing I recommend is running the BlueStacks 5 as an administrator. So here, I'll show you guys. You can do that. Close. Close this. You go here. Right click. I run as administrator. You run that as administrator. So in other words your computer is putting that high priority. Here I'll even open my task manager and see it'll pop up here. Right now I'm using OBS but it'll see right there. It'll uh, when it loads up, it'll be up at the top. So you, it'll be like the top priority. And you want to do that for your blue stacks if it's not running correctly. And change all the graphic stuff, as I mentioned. So you want to do that stuff. And yeah, I guess that's it for this one. Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to drop them down below. And if you want me to go in depth for a different program or like more detail on this one i'm not gonna show you guys how to like show you the difference in the gameplay because 
this is not my better computer that I'm using. So that is the only reason why I'm not using it today. But yeah. And if you guys want me to do any other kind of videos, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I guess see you guys in the next one. Peace out.